Hello, this is Sin City Preacher. Welcome back. Uh, this is part two in my message to Roman Catholics. In part one, I mentioned that there are doctrines you hold that are correct, and then there are other doctrines you hold that are incorrect. And the incorrect doctrines you have are serious, but I know that God will forgive you for those. But in this video, I want to teach you about a doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church that is so serious it is unforgivable and you cannot get into heaven if you hold this doctrine so this is the unpardonable sin now as an evangelist and street preacher I ask people every day what do you have to do to get into heaven and most people tell me well I'm trying to be a good person they follow the golden rule they go to church <clears throat> And I've never met a Roman Catholic that answered the question any other way than that. They, they base their salvation based upon their religion and their self-righteousness, trying to be good. And they keep their fingers crossed, hoping that they're good enough, and they qualify for heaven. Uh, but if that's what you believe, you absolutely are not going to go to heaven. And I know that because the Bible says that... Uh, our salvation is not based upon our self-righteousness. Our salvation is based upon our relationship with Jesus Christ. So, if someone asks me, what do you have to do to get into heaven, Luke? I say, trust Jesus Christ for your salvation. That's simple. That's all there is to it. Don't add anything to that. I'm asking you to put your faith on Jesus Christ. Believe on Jesus Christ. Trust Jesus Christ for your salvation. Depend on Jesus. Rely on Jesus. Not a religion, not your self-righteousness. Now, if you will simply trust Jesus completely, you will be saved. You will have eternal life in heaven. Now, that is the gospel. That is the message in the Bible that gives us eternal life in heaven. If you do not believe that, that is the sin of unbelief and it is unforgivable so we need to correct that <clears throat> now you need, you need to believe in the sufficiency of Jesus Christ for your salvation that all that is required is your faith in him rather than believing in your self righteousness and a religion now let's prove this through scripture Romans 4 5 it says uh, to the man who does not work but trust God who justifies the wicked his faith is credited as righteousness and that clearly says if a person does not do any religious work at all but they trust Jesus Christ as their savior their faith is credited as righteousness Romans 4 5 now we go to Ephesians 2 8 9 and 10 for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this not from yourselves it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do let's analyze this it says for it is by grace you have been saved I was saved I get my salvation is because God is being gracious to me and I, I get this uh, grace from God, this salvation, because of my faith in Jesus Christ. It's not from myself. It has nothing to do with my self-righteousness. This is a gift from God. It's not by any religious work I do. So that I can never go around boasting that I earned heaven. That I deserve it. And now, verse 10 explains the... Uh, relationship between faith and works it says for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works so after I got saved the whole point of being saved is so that I can serve God now as a child of God and that's what I'm asking you to do trust Jesus Christ for your salvation and then serve him I'm telling you that you don't get it backwards don't try to do good things and be religious in order to get saved. It's the other way around. We trust Jesus for our salvation, and then we do good in order to serve him because 
We're Christians and we love it. Now, I must not add anything to this simple message. In Romans 11, 6 it says, If by grace, then it is no longer by works. If it were, grace would no longer be grace. Now, that means that in the church now, we are saved, we're saved because of the grace of God through our faith in Jesus Christ. And it says no longer by works. That means the old way uh, through Judaism was through works. But it's not that way anymore. It says if it were, grace would no longer be grace. So in other words, if I believe that I'm saved because of the, my, the grace of God through my faith in Jesus, but I must also do religious works, then grace is no longer grace. In fact, Galatians 2.21 says, Do not nullify the grace of God. For if righteousness comes through the law, or religious work, then Christ died for nothing, needlessly. It says, do not nullify. Do not cancel the grace of God. If you think that you believe on Jesus, but you've also got to be religious in order to get into heaven, you're canceling the grace. You're not saved. Because you're not trusting Jesus entirely. And we don't also we don't do religious work to keep our salvation. Uh, Romans eight thirty eight and thirty nine says, "I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord." Nothing can separate me from my relationship with Jesus Christ, my salvation. Nothing in the past, nothing in the future, nothing in all creation can separate me. I can't lose my salvation. Ephesians 4.30 says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So I'm sealed into the church. I'm sealed into the body of Christ. And... Uh, I, I'm, I can never get out of it. And to point this out, it says, Romans 11.29, the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. The gift, what's the gift? The Bible says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift, it says, now it says, the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. It can't be revoked. I can't change my mind. God doesn't change his mind. It's irrevocable. I'm saved forever. Now, for more information on these subjects, check out my playlist, Salvation by Grace Through Faith in Jesus. Another one is Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Another one is Eternal Security. I go into much greater detail in those playlists. Now, I believe that some Roman Catholics truly are Christians, and you're going to go to heaven because you're trusting Jesus entirely. But if you're a Roman Catholic that is trusting your religion and your self-righteousness uh, in place of Jesus or in addition to Jesus, then you're not saved. You need to trust Jesus completely, not your religion. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to examine yourself. The Bible says examine your faith. I hope this is a wake-up call for you. And really look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you really trusting Jesus or are you trusting your religion? Now, if anybody tells you any other gospel besides this, they will be cursed. That's what the Bible says. Galatians 1.8 If we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. So this is the true gospel. And Roman Catholics, I pray that you will trust Jesus alone. Not your religion, not your self-righteousness. In Jesus' name, amen.